types of antigens on the basis of origin there are different types of antigens on the basis of origin exogenous antigens exogenous antigens are the external antigens that can enter the body from outside example inhalation or by means of injection these include the food allergen pollen aerosols etc and are most common type of antigens types of antigens endogenous antigens are generated inside the body due to viral or bacterial infections or cellular metabolism auto antigens or self proteins or nucleic acids that due to some genetic or environmental alterations can get attacked by their own immune system causing autoimmune disease tumor antigen it is an antigenic substance present on the surface of tumor cells that induces an immune response in the host example mhc1 and mhc2 many tumors develop a mechanism to evade the immune system of the body native antigens an antigen that is not yet processed by an antigen presenting cell is also known as native antigens on the basis of the immune response antigens can be classified into immunogen these may be proteins or polysaccharides and can generate an immune response on their own happen these are non protein foreign substances that require a carrier molecule to induce an immune response now let's see about the structure of antigens at the molecular level an antigen is characterized by its ability to bound to at the antigen site of an antibody antibodies tend to discriminate between the specific molecular structures presented on the surface of the antigen antigens are usually either protein peptide or polysaccharides these include the parts like coats capsules cell wall flagella fimbriae and toxins of bacteria viruses and other microorganisms lipids and nucleic acids are antigenic only when combined with proteins and polysaccharides for example the combination of the lipids and polysaccharides or lipopolysaccharides which are the primary component of the gram negative bacterial endotoxin the lipopolysaccharide forms the cell wall of the gram negative bacteria and causes a powerful immune response when bound cells present their immunogenic antigens to the immune system via a major histocompatibility complex molecule depending on the antigen presented and the type of histocompatibility molecule several types of immune cells can become activated due to an antigen structure of an antigen antigens have several structural components of the interaction that may be bound by different classes of antibodies each of these distinct structural components is considered to be an epitope also called an antigenic determinant